In the previous video lesson, we tried to differentiate uh, by the first principle method these two questions. There we attempt this one, and now uh, let's talk about this f of x equals to e to the power x. Though it looks very small, but it's a little little difficult if you don't know the concept, right? So our function here is f of x equals to e to the power ax. This time I'm going to go by the definition directly, all right? So uh, f prime of x equals to limit h tends to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Further, limit h tends to 0. When you're going to insert x plus h in this function, then it will be a to the power uh, x in the place of x it will be x plus x. minus again f of x is simply a to e to the power ax so it's e to the power ax divided by h uh, uh, generally you know uh, I think we have to use a formula later on so I'm just first writing here limit x tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 divided by x equals to 1 all right this formula we may have to use somewhere so I'm just writing it first and again limit h tends to 0 I'm just trying to break it alright e to the power ax plus ah minus e to the ax divided by h further what I'm going to do limit h tends to 0 e to the power ax times e to the power ah minus e to the power ax divided by h from this step we got this step you might get confused see here we had what we had learned x plus m is equals to x to the power m times x to the power n right so based on this algebraic expression i had uh, done that and now in the next step i'm going to take this common so it will be limit h tends to 0 e to the power ax common e to the power ah minus 1 divided by h let's write it little uh, more nicely here limit h tends to 0 e to the power a h minus 1 divided by h first I wrote this part alright so it doesn't matter and then times e to the power a x this as it is but before applying formula my dear friend we have to uh, consider one thing in mind x tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 divided by x equals to 1 but here it is a h and here it is simply h so simply what I want to say I just gonna multiply here by a and same I'm gonna multiply here by a and next thing I'm gonna write here a h tends to 0 but the same time in the reason section I'll write when h tends to 0 definitely a h tends to 0 you know if h is almost equals to 0 then definitely whatever you multiply by that you know here h is like equals to 0 you know like equals to 0 does not mean exactly equals to 0 it's very very close to 0 so if h is almost equals to 0 then a times h by whatever you multiply 0 you will get 0 all right so now this is a perfect formula as i told you here x tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 divided by x equals to 1 so a h tends to 0 e to the power a h minus 1 divided by a h equals to 1 times a e a x all right so our differentiation f of x equals to or in more better way if you want to say then it's like derivative of e to the power a x is equals to a e a x that's our answer